11 guard out of Morgantown. And we asked Michael Huger, how'd you get him out of Bob Huggins' backyard if he's such a scrappy defender? And the answer was, Huggs doesn't like little guards like that, smaller guys like Matheny. As Michigan has a skip pass for a wide... Into the post, Washington, no over Davis, and a rebound for Livers. Michigan off a 19-12 and 12 season last year with hopes to go to the NCAA tournament in a very deep Big Ten last season. Livers on the drive, and kick for Smith. The tra Green trails 15-13. to 13. 10.31 to go in the first. We thank you for joining us. Robbie, I know you've been waiting a long time for college basketball to be back. We all have as the whistle goes. The, the big question to me for Hunter Dickinson right now is what kind of shape is he in and how much can he play? That's kind of what you ask about most big kids that are coming into college basketball. In day one and week one of the turn uh, the uh, college basketball season, but in these preseason tournaments with not a whole lot of preseason practice that look normal, we might see some mistakes and some odd looking stuff from highly ranked teams. Really good job of making a, a concise effort to get to the rim. Ziegler off his pass for an open look from three that was no good for Diggs once again. And now Dickinson in a triple team to get these guys going. And that's exactly what that was right there. Wagner off the fine. But he's a guy that can really score the ball and get it done on the offensive end. He had his choice of wherever he wanted to play, basically, as a transfer. I mean, he was one totally. of the top transfers. I think that's one of those deals where even Michael Huger said that COVID helped us. He couldn't really visit. He couldn't go play in that ball screen so hard. And Caden Matheny, opportunistic, shooting right through the passing lane. It's a really game bowling green team as you get a whistle. Improved player in the Big Ten last year. So the strides he made from his sophomore year to his junior year were phenomenal. What did you like, improvement-wise? I, I mean, there's there a lot to like. I, I, that's one of those where you're looking around going for a rebound and you're saying, who was supposed to block him out? Smith on the... That's like game 15 stuff right there. And Isaiah Livers, you can tell he's going to be a major force in the Big Ten this year with some big names back. As Sean D. Brown... That background. I think that has changed in the last 20 or 15 years. You think we go back there with more knowledge of that? Or go further away from it? I think it, it probably is like everything in basketball where, where things kind of ebb and flow. I certainly think we get back to it, but right now for Michigan, I think it's fair to say that, that Bowling Green was going to live with Michigan shooting threes. At times, I think they've almost oh, overhelped Isaiah Lewis by Sean D. Brown. Who was your best team at the end of the year last year in the Big Ten? I thought Illinois, too. I thought Illinois was the team that could make the biggest run in the NCAA tournament last year, and we had it. The league still is loaded, even with losing guys like that. That's how deep this league is. Lead is 15 for Michigan, just cracking the top 25. Is no. That's one of those where you're looking around going for a rebound, and you're saying, who was supposed to block him out? Nice drop step again. Smith 